Yo, so I'm here with another integration video for the latest update for the footstep sound component. Here we'll be integrating with the open world locomotion system again and we'll start by adding the footstep sound component to our project. Then we'll open up the OWL base blueprint and add the component. The only other thing we gotta do now is add the AN footstep notify to each of the animations that play. So we'll start with the run animation where I see each footstep and I'll add the AN notify. Now when we press play, we get footsteps. Same thing for crouching. If we add the AN notifies in the crouch forward animation, we'll see the footsteps generate for crouching. Mess with where the notifies are so you don't get two spawning for one footstep. To get more information, we can turn on the debugger and show line traces. Now we can visibly see where the traces are happening, which surface is being detected, and the correlating strength associated with each footstep. But this asset also includes climbing, so let's set that up. The cool thing is, I've already added the logic to implement climbing, so this is going to be very easy. So when we're climbing, our character moves relatively slow, so I'm going to say that the particles that generate should be small and quieter than walking and running. Let's open our component, expand the anim slash move type dropdown, and see what we have by default. Currently, there are four states, crawling, crouching, walking, and running. This asset doesn't have crawling, but I think the particles that generate from crawling are good. So let's open the spelling variations and add a new string to the array and add the word climb. If we test it, nothing happens. And we can see from the debugger that the traces are moving up and down, which is what crawling uses by default from my asset. The amazing thing here is that we can change this very easily. If you open the bone slash socket group dropdown, we can see that the bone group being used is both. Let's collapse and move type and open bone slash socket and open up the group dropdown for each index. We can see a group for feet, hands, and both. And each group shows the direction of the traces. Our crawling movement group is using both, so hands and feet. But if we look at the both bone group, the trace direction is up and down. We want this to move forward and backward to detect the wall in front of our player. So click the drop down, change it to forward and backward, and hit play. We can see that the traces are moving forward and backward, but they're still not hitting the wall. The reason is because the trace distance is set to negative 50. And this is because in my asset, this group is used for crawling and the traces are going downward to the floor. So again, we can easily change this by removing the negative and now the traces are gonna hit the wall. If we turn off the debugger, we can see the particles better, but let's also change the physical material of this to something like gravel. And oh my god, so much better. But say you've integrated crawling into this, or other assets, so you have crawling, crouching, walking, you essentially want to add another state. For example, this asset includes sprinting, and when we sprint, no footsteps generate. First thing we gotta do is add the AN notify to the sprint animations, and then decide if we wanna use any of the existing groups for our particle and sounds, or make a new one. In this case, let's add a new group for sprinting. Let's open anim move type and open the last group, which is run, and we'll hit add to add a new group. By default, it's walk, which we don't want. Let's change the name to sprint and delete the variations and add the word sprint here as well. Capitalization doesn't matter. So let's put the size to five and confirm our bone group is feet. Now when we test it, we have footsteps for sprinting. Again, we can turn on the debugger to confirm, but if you notice, we don't have any sounds generating. What you'll need to do is open the particles and sounds dropdown and add another element for the same size and sound. Here I'm adding concrete run again, but I'll snap to it in the content browser, duplicate it, and change the name to sprint. I'll also open it and increase the volume and assign it in the strength sound group. Testing it again, we can now hear the footsteps are playing louder and visually confirm that the sound is the sprint value. You essentially will want to add the respective groups for each thing you're trying to generate sounds and particles for. I hope this provides better clarification on how to use this asset, but if you got questions, just hit me up. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!